welcome to another episode of Trini Bites. As some of you should know that uh, we were off the air for about a month. My uncle Barak passed away. So we had to go and do a lot of stuff there. And uh, may his soul rest in peace. He was the guy responsible of bringing the whole family up to Canada again. He was a very good man. I will miss him, dearly miss him. And uh, my wife yesterday, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a cascadoo. The Trinidadians call it Cascadu and the Guyanese call it Hasa. So I'm thinking about changing the name and call it Hasadu. <laughs> so tell me what you think. <laughs> so um, this is the season here now and she will take over from here. And also the kids was down in Miami. They will put, be putting out some videos soon with the carnival in Miami. Take a look at it. All right, stay tuned and Sita will take over. So we also moved. This is our new house. This is the kitchen you'll be seeing a lot of where we're doing most of the cooks. Plus with the barbecue in the backyard and stuff. So all this, everything happened at the same time. And now we're gonna be full time back again on the air. Okay, so these um, cascadu actually came from Florida. <laughs> My husband's um, cousin sent these cascadu for us. Barry. So um, his name is Barry and his wife. Um, so we're gonna have this for dinner today. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. So I have a little bit of seasoning that I'm going to throw into the cascadu and I'm just going to toss this. And then I have more seasoning that has um, onions, garlic, um, bandania, celery, green onions. I also have some tomatoes cut up on the side and I have a really hot habanero pepper that I'm gonna mix together. So I'm gonna mix all the seasoning up together and then I'm gonna stuff the seasoning into the cascadu, the belly of the cascadu. So I know this pepper is really hot but I prefer to use my fingers to stuff the cascadu so that it gets um, you know enough season into there so that's one and look at the size of this cascadu it's huge thank you Barry and and his his wife thank you both And if you're wondering, Barry's wife's name is Sabita. So thank you very much, Sabita. We will enjoy this cascadu. And now I've stuffed all of them. Um, I will leave this extra season to um, put in the pot. So I'm also going to add some salt as well to the cascadu and some black pepper. I'll add a little bit to the seasoning. And we also have some boiled peas, pigeon peas, fresh pigeon peas. So I'm going to toss this into the bowl as well and then I'll show you how I curry, curry the cascade. Asking about Grizz, this is how he got. Say hi, Grizz. He, oh, he got bad. He's a bad boy. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put in some oil. As you all know, we don't cook with much oil, so just a little bit. I'm gonna add in some black masala to the oil, as well as some curry. So we'll just wait until it's cooked. needs to, um, to cook really good so I'm just gonna take my time and just uh, let it cook and uh, I'll show you what I do next so my curry is cooking and I'm gonna take some water I'll add some water to it let it cook it let it cook some more And I'll keep adding water so that it, it's um, really soft and smooth. I'll let this cook for a little bit and then I'll add the seasoning in. So now I'm going to add the, the extra seasoning I had in the plate. And I'm going to um, let that cook up in the curry. And once this, uh, this has cooked a little bit, I'm gonna, then I'm going to toss the uh, casket in. Okay, so now I'm gonna toss the casserole in with the peas and the seasoning. I'll just quickly give it a turn. And I'm gonna let this cook up in the curry. And then I'll throw water. But I want this to cook into the curry really good. So we'll be back. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a turn now. I didn't put any water in yet, but as you can see. It's cooking up into the curry and now I'm going to add some water. And I'm going to add the water from the bowl I had with the seasoning. So I'm going to add in a little more. Because these cascadu are very huge, it's gonna probably take a, a good 45 minutes to cook. So I'm gonna just leave it into the, the sauce and let it cook. And then we'll come back and see. And you can taste the uh, salt and pepper and whatever. Okay, so let's have a peek. Mmm, it's looking good already. I tasted it and it's tasting really, really delicious. If you can only get the smell, so good. So I'm gonna leave this to cook a little bit more because this, the casket is very huge. So we need it to cook properly. So I'll leave it a little, a little bit again and then we'll come and see, check it out. 
So now we're gonna check and see. I'm, I'm not gonna dry the um, sauce down too much because we need to eat um, this with rice. So I think it's like pretty good here now. Um, let me just taste it for salt and everything. It's just perfect. Salt and pepper. It's just good. Okay, so now this is for the test. Mm. Enough pepper, enough salt, and it's so delicious. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.